Hey everyone, this is DJ from ThoughtsFromParis.com and I wanted to create a very quick and short but thorough introduction to how to use Triber. So this um, video assumes you've already created an account and, but you maybe don't know exactly what to do next. So we're going to go ahead and log in and I apologize for talking quickly but I have a lot to get through and I don't want to bore you to death either. So let's log in. I'm going to log in with my Twitter account. It's going to authorize and now I am in. Now the first thing we want to do in Triber is make sure that our account is set up properly. So we're going to go to account on the upper right and we're going to go on settings here. Then we want to check two things. One that our blog RSS feed is set up properly. So here's my RSS feed. I know that that's the correct uh, address. If you don't know, submit a support request and somebody will help you find your RSS feed. And then the next thing we want to check is social networks. Make sure you have at least one social network attached to your Triber account. For example, I've got my Twitter, right? I could also add Facebook or LinkedIn. And we actually want to do one more thing. And this may not make a lot of sense at the moment, but let's go ahead and talk about it. So when Triber is all about social sharing, right? You're going to be sharing other people's content and hopefully they'll share yours back. One of the things you may be doing is putting a number of blog posts from other people into your social sharing queue, right? So let's say you liked everything I ever wrote and you decided that, you know, my last 20 posts were just gold and you had to send them all out. Well, maybe you wouldn't want to send them all within a minute of each other to your Twitter stream, right? That might be kind of annoying for your readers and followers. Well, I have it set up so that the maximum that Triber can send out a post even if I've got many in the queue, is every two hours. That way, my Twitter stream doesn't get clogged up all at one time with everyone else's posts. It just goes out once every two hours, okay? So that's just a little tip right there on how to set up how quickly the posts are shared in your social network. Okay, now let's figure out how to find some tribes. So let's say you're new to Twitter, sorry, Triber, and you need to find some tribes. So the first thing you're gonna do is click on tribes. Okay, next we're going to click Explore New Tribes right here. Now, aside from showing all of the new tribes that were recently created, what I think is really useful is this category selection on the right. So I'm going to actually go to Humor, because I'm a humor blogger, and let's see if we can find a humor tribe that I don't subscribe to. There's actually a couple that I do have, but let's click on this one, A to Z. I don't know these people. So what I'm going to do is, let's say I take a look, I can actually look at their stream, take a look at some of the posts, and I'll determine, hey, these guys are great, I want to follow, and I want to join this tribe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click follow. Now what this does, it sends a, a request to the chief, the person who runs the tribe, and says, hey, DJ wants to join your tribe, what do you think? Uh, will you, um, do you like his content? So they're going to go potentially review my content. And for right now, I can see their content and I can share theirs, but they can't share mine. So what I'm going to do is request a promotion because I would like them to share my content. It's going to go to the chief and they're going to make a determination whether they want to bring me in as a full member, which means they can now share my content. Okay. So that is one way to find tribes. I'm just going to go back a few steps here is to actually click on the category and start scrolling through and find some tribes that you like. And another way to do it is actually to click on bonfires. Now what bonfires are is basically a forum, a message board where you can actually go looking for tribes or if you're a chief, you can go looking for members. So I would first go to the looking for tribes. So, for example, I just created a new humor tribe, and I put a little note out there to let people know, hey, if you're a humor blogger, check me out. And same sort of thing here. You can do a search up in the upper right-hand corner for a particular topic, or you can just start scrolling through and looking for people who might have similar interests and topics that you uh, might want to join with them and share their content. Also, if you're looking for any guest post opportunities, there's that. Tribe ups are really the equivalent of a meetup. You can do either in person or online and meet up with the people in your tribe and get to know them a little bit better. There's also a support section of the forum 
where you can. In fact, I just submitted a support request about my atomic drive. I was curious about one particular issue that I wasn't uh, totally sure about. So you can actually submit a post and either the support team at Tribal will uh, answer it or even a user can answer that question for you. If you have any suggestions for Triber, click on the feedback and they actually are very responsive. So if you have any ideas for how to make Triber better, let them know. And then there's a news section and also a general section. General is kind of like off topic stuff uh, that you know you can submit uh, posts about. Okay, I wanna share one. Oh, so let's talk about how to use Triber. I almost forgot. So let's say we've joined a few tribes and now we wanna talk about sharing content. Okay, so I'm gonna actually go to one of my tribes. So I'm gonna click on my tribes and I wanna see just the tribes I subscribe to. And I created one called Blog Hops on Steroids, so feel free to uh, join us. We have a few spots left. All right, so I can actually see a little communication stream. So I actually said, hey guys, would you like it if I created a little video? And a couple people said yes. So that's why I'm doing this. But what we wanna do is I have actually, if you look at my list here, you can see I'm the chief and then everyone else is a member, which means we can share their content and they can share ours. Okay, so now let's look at the content. I'm clicking on activities, activity stream. And what this is, is everyone's most recent posts. So I'm just gonna scroll through and pick one at random because I don't want anyone to think I'm not choosing their posts on purpose. Okay, boo frickum who Oprah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wanna share this. So if I didn't, if I wasn't sure if I wanna share this or not, I could click on it, it opens up and I can read the in post, which is really cool. You can do it right here in the stream. Now, let me close the thing and I say, oh, that looks pretty great. I wanna go ahead and share it. All I gotta do is hover over this approve button for a few seconds. There we go. And it went out to my Twitter. That's a little Twitter icon to let me know that I have two two posts in my queue ready to go out so let's just choose one more here uh let's see well that's just too funny not to tweet it um oh no it doesn't look like it's going to let me so anyway you, you get the general idea and now I can actually submit as many of these into my queue as I want and remember from earlier it's going to send a tweet out because I have my Twitter account um, well, here, I'll go ahead and share Natalie's. I'll just click, hold over it. Now I've got three in my queue, which means every two hours, um, one of these is going to be tweeted out to my followers. And that's basically it, guys. Now, if you want to see all of your streams at once, you actually go to stream. Now, what a stream is, is, the, is all the... Um, all of the blog posts within a particular tribe. Well, this is gonna show you all of the tribes at once. So I like to do it by stream or by tribe rather. So you can actually do, these are all the tribes I belong to, okay? But you can actually do it all at once here. Lastly, I wanna show you campaigns. This is a new thing Triber just came out with and it is a way to get paid for blogging. So they've got a number of promotions with brand sponsors, which are going to ask that you do various things for them. Maybe if you're a podcaster, you'll um, talk about a particular product. If you're a YouTuber, you're going to make a video. If you're a blogger, you're going to write about it, right? So there's one in particular that I just joined for Continental. I think it's called Be Kind to Your Behind. And they are paying us, um, you know, few, almost $300 to write about toilet paper. So to me, that's a pretty great deal because I would write about toilet paper for free. So anyway, um, you can actually read about that and apply for the tribe by clicking on it and learning all about it. So there's just gonna be more and more of these as um, Triber continues to evolve. And I think this is the next evolution uh, of in my opinion of the system where you will be able to actually get paid for being a blogger because Triber now has the cachet to say, hey, uh, you know, we've got a social reach of 20 million people or whatever it is, then uh, obviously the brands want to get access to those, uh, that social media um, audience. So anyway, that's how to use Triber, guys. I tried to keep this quick. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. If you want to join my tribes, you can find them. And I hope to see you uh, in some fun tribes. Start sharing some content. And uh, thanks for watching.